So, um, welcome to Port Down, Philip. Um, how does it feel to be part of the, the, the setup here at Stronger Park? It's great. Um, as I said, this is my first day here, so um, no, everyone's made me feel really welcome. And obviously, the game hasn't went today w- what we had hoped, but no, everyone's been welcoming. And no, Port Down, make no mistake about it, they're an Irish League giant. And um, when Ronnie uh, made the call to me, and it really didn't take much persuasion, to be honest, just a few details to be ironed out, and, and that was it. How did the move actually come about? Was it did you, did you contact the club or was it the club contact you or what is uh, it? It was just a bolt in the blue, really. It was um, one Sunday evening. I was just watching TV at home and back in England, and uh, Ronnie had phoned. And uh, to be honest, I've spoken to Ronnie three or four times in the last five years of maybe coming here and you know, decided just to go elsewhere at the time or just didn't wasn't a good fit. But um, no, Ronnie just phoned me up out of the blue, and um, as I said, it, there was just a matter of a day's end before everything was signed and sealed. So. Oh, it's been great and obviously working under Ronnie McFall is something I always wanted to do when I was playing football. He's, you know, his record speaks for itself and his pedigree as a, as a manager. Well, um, what was it that has, has attracted you to Shamar Park? Or is it? Obviously I know that I haven't came here to challenge for a league title this season but um, uh, the chance to come come back home play for a club like Port of it's, it's huge. Obviously I know a lot of the players here um, and just the standard of the league as well. I mean, I, I really liked playing the Irish League last time I was here and um, you know the only really stumbling block I thought I would have was, was how, how it would work with travelling in and out but once we got that sorted it's, it's been smooth as so um, everything's going great so far. And as you say you're going to be commuting to and from London, um, what is your, 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 your midweek training schedule, is there anything set up? Or? Um, well I had been training with uh, Keith Rowland's team as you said so hopefully I'm going to be able to be, still do that um, as I go back over but no, I'm a fairly fit lad and I always keep myself in good enough shape in the gym and stuff so no, hopefully we just be, be keep going like that and you know but holidays and stuff as well. I'll be back here for weeks, you know. So if I'm back, I'll be training. Obviously, we poured it in as well. And you, you've played in the Irish League for many years. Is there any particular, um, is there any favourite moment playing against Port Down down time? Um, I scored the winner against the Irish Cup final in my, f- in my first year at Lumfield. But um, no, I always loved playing against Port Down. To be honest, um, you know, it was always a really tough game against them. And one thing Port Down always have is, th- you know, they always Ronnie always attracts the best players. To be honest, and you just have to look at our squad today and. Lettered with experience and trophies, and you know, hopefully this season it hasn't been good enough from you know with the squad we have. So I'll be looking now to, to kick on next year, and it would have been good to get out of here today with the draw and get, at least get some momentum going. But it wasn't to be, and you know, have to start next week against Cliffenwell. Um Is there a match or an opponent that you're um, especially looking forward to facing now to back in the Irish League? Um, not really. I'm, I haven't really been following it that well. To be honest, I just really stay in touch with my brother. So I'll, I'll be looking forward to getting the kick at him in a few weeks' time. But no, I mean, there's a lot of good players in the Irish league, and a lot have came to the fore since I went away. So I'll be looking forward to, to seeing you know playing against players like that. But no, I don't really have anyone in specific. Obviously, just my brother probably is the only one to be looking forward to playing against most. Yeah. And obviously, you've signed here to the end of the season. Is the hope then after that, if everything works out, we stay a wee bit longer? Uh, I don't really know. To be honest, I mean, Ronnie's. Um, only saying I've only signed at the end of the year, and that's probably the best option at the minute. You know, with the travelling and stuff, and seeing how it works, and seeing if we're both a good fit for each other. So, oh, if it goes well, and I sit down at the end of the season, and I have a chat for definite, and uh, you know, I love playing football, and it's I, I wasn't really playing much in the last two months, and I felt I was sort of wasting not my talent, but you know, my my age, and I'm only 26, and I've still got a lot to offer. So, um, no, I'm keen to play, and uh, hopefully, I can stay on maybe next season as well things go well and finally um, what do you hope to achieve here in the, in the, in the, the, the short time you're going to be at Shamrock just to give 100% every week um, make an impact on matches and obviously as I said the Cups probably our only hope really now of, of doing anything but in saying that we can have a big say in the title race as well I mean no one wants to come to Shamrock Park you know even though we're going through a bad period now it was, when I was at Lumfield it was always a ground you hated playing at because you knew it was going to be a tough game so no we'll just be as competitive as we can then the season and see where it takes us